Some say it's a gray area in D.C.'s marijuana law. Vendors gifting drugs to customers. And with the pop parties popping up, police have been cracking down. But the News 4 I team found those arrests rarely lead to convictions. Investigative reporter Jody Fleischer is here to tell us what the police chief and the U.S. attorney had to say about that. We dug through hundreds of arrest records and court case files and found prosecutors dismissed more than 80% of them. Many of these police raids take hours and dozens of officers. So we asked, what's the point? And is this really just a case of wasted resources? You can find them in every corner of the district on every night of the week. The News 4 IT went undercover to show you pot parties popping up inside businesses, warehouses, even homes. The district's marijuana law says you can grow it, smoke it, and gift small amounts to others. You just can't buy or sell it. Creating an entire industry that exchanges cash for stickers, t-shirts, even socks that come with marijuana products as a gift. I don't see a problem with it. Purvis Rollins says he doesn't frequent or host pop-up parties, but last month he got arrested while standing outside of one at a building he owns and rents out for events. 20 to 25 police officers that, that stormed the building, guns drawn, and uh, it was terrifying. Police also arrested the two women who were inside setting up for the party, but prosecutors have already dropped those cases. The I-team found that's not uncommon. We tracked down records for more than two dozen pop-up events and followed every case through the courts. Out of 255 people charged, the I-team found exactly three have gone to trial. Marijuana prosecutions in the city have always been very lenient. Police Chief Peter Newsham told the I-team he wasn't surprised to learn prosecutors dropped 189 of those cases. When 80% of your arrests get dismissed, that's got to be frustrating. With, in this arena, it's really not. Yeah, not, not with regards to the marijuana. I've grown accustomed to that. So we asked the obvious question. Why continue to have officers spend their time raiding those parties? If you're uh, gifting it on a large scale to numbers of people, uh, you know, under the guise of, you know, you're giving them something else, it's clearly distribution. I don't think that's even gray. But the I-team found even when three dozen people accepted plea deals with prosecutors, it was usually just for possession, not distribution. Prosecutors also offered pleas in most of the cases they later dropped. Is it possible that they see this as a gray area and that's why they're not taking these cases to trial? That would be a question for them. The U.S. Attorney's Office refused to answer that question but confirmed what our research uncovered. In a statement, a spokesperson said prosecutors fully support police efforts, but that successfully prosecuting those cases requires a higher legal standard. It's a big problem and I think it's a waste of time. D.C. Councilman David Grosso says officers shouldn't be focused on enforcing a law that's likely to change. He's already introduced legislation to allow marijuana to be bought, sold, and taxed. We are saying that more and more people should be allowed to operate in this business, to engage in this business without the consequence of being arrested. You can smell the hints of the cannabis in it. Purvis owns a mobile massage business and says the marijuana police found in his car parked out back wasn't for sale. It goes into the skin real smooth. He infuses it into lotions and salves, which he gifts to his clients. It's all described on his website. They tied it into the whole pop-up party, and I'm like, that's crazy. I think it's wrong. His is one of 22 cases prosecutors haven't dropped. This is our signature cannabis. Butter. The chief says pop-up raids often originate with complaints from neighbors upset about noise and traffic and that cash-only sales make those parties a target for crime. Records show officers sometimes recover thousands of dollars and guns, which are illegal to carry in the district. We've seen a couple of robberies uh, associated with these pop-up parties. Uh, we have seen uh, at least one homicide. Purvis agrees safety is important, but even after his arrest, he still sees the gifting law as gray in the pop-up parties and his own business. It definitely makes me have to rethink how I'm going to do it. I definitely don't want the police coming in again. The U.S. Attorney's spokesman told the I-Team prosecutors have a responsibility to pursue only cases they believe they can be proven beyond a reasonable doubt, that they've moved forward with the most viable pop-up cases, and aggressively prosecute any that involve weapons or violence.